I'm Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez and God has called and commissioned me to lead people of all walks of life to a deep and genuine encounter with Him. My dear friend, I encourage you as I pray for you today and as I share a message with you, be in agreement, believe and you shall receive in the name of Jesus. Hello to you my dear friend, it's Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez here and I greet you in the name of Jesus. It is so good to be with you today. It is a brand new week that God has given us and by the grace of God we will keep on going. It will be a good week by the grace of God. In God alone do we trust, in God alone do we put our hope because we know as we put our hope in God, as we put our trust in God, we shall never be disappointed. Now, as I've been seeking the Lord, the Lord has given me a word to share with you and I trust and believe that as I share this word with you, it's going to bless you and it's going to take you to a greater glory. So without any further delay, my dear friend, let's get into it. Let us begin. It's time to move into a new season of resting in God. Stop trying so hard in your own strength and wearing yourself out and just surrender to God. Take it as God gives it to you. Let God be your pacemaker. Do not worry. Do not be discouraged. Allow Him to be God in your life. Be rest assured that God will not let your life be ruined. He will not leave you helpless. He will not let anything or any situation destroy you, but rather He will protect you. Rely on God, my dear friend. Rely on Him, trust in Him, and He will see you through. He will take you safely through every situation that you go through, and you will come out on the other side. Trust Him in humility, knowing that He will see you through. Rest in Him and preserve your strength. Allow Him to take you through. Follow His lead. My dear friend, even as I received this word, the Lord led me to two verses. They're from the same psalm. And I'm going to read to you from the ISV version, Psalm 62, verse 1 and 2. This is what it says. It says, My soul rests quietly only when it looks to God. From Him comes my deliverance. Verse 2, He alone is my rock, my deliverance, and my high tower. Nothing will shake me. Now, there are a few elements that I want to share with you in these two verses. First of all, my dear friend, you will find rest and you will find peace as you set your focus onto God, as you look to God. Understand and know, my dear friend, your deliverance comes from God. Whatever situation you might be facing, whatever it might look like, understand and know that God will deliver you. He will see you through. Verse 2 makes it clear when it says, He alone is my rock, my deliverance and my high tower, nothing will shake me. My dear friend, as you set your focus towards God and you receive the peace that He can give you, and you trust Him to deliver you, nothing will shake you. You will become unshakable and you will stand and you will make it through. This is the word that the Lord has given me to give you for this season. Without any further delay, my dear friend, let's go into a time of prayer. Let us begin to pray. Let us just trust God so that God can take you to another level. Now in saying that, let us begin to praise Him. We're going to begin by praising Him. And as the presence of God comes in the place, then we'll go into a time of prayer and God will bless you. In saying that, begin to praise Him in your own words. Father, You are our God and we praise You. Thank you for another week that you've given us. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you, Lord, that you see us through. Lord, we wouldn't even be here today if it wasn't for you. It is your grace and your mercy that enables us to keep on going. Help us to keep on going, O oh God. Give us the grace that we'll finish strong and we'll not give up, but we'll press on and receive the prize from you. We give you praise and we thank you for all that you do. Thank you for another day that you've given us. Thank you, Lord, that we've made it into another week. We give you praise that this is going to be a good week. This is going to be a week that is amazing. It is going to be a week full of grace. It is going to be a week full of mercy. We thank you, Lord, that even today as we are putting our trust in you, nothing will hold us back. Thank you, Lord, for another Monday and another week that we can make our progress. And even as we do so, Lord, as we make progress, receive all the glory, all the honor and all the praise. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, our Lord is gracious and is merciful. Put your trust in God today and He will see you through. He will deliver you. Now, we're going to go into a time of prayer. We're going to begin to pray. I'm going to pray for you in line with this prophetic word. And even as we begin to pray, I want to encourage you to do two simple things. The first thing that I want you to do, my dear friend, is lift up your hands and just say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you in this place. Help me to pray. Help me to get closer to Jesus. Give me a revelation. Help me to go up to a greater glory and a greater altitude, even this week. Help me to make progress, O Holy Spirit. I pray this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. 
My dear friend, the second thing that I want to encourage you to do is comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. There is so much power in agreement and even as you comment and agree, God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin to pray. Father, I pray that you'll give my dear friend rest. As my dear friend sets their focus on you, even in this divine season, give my dear friend rest. Help my dear friend to just let go and to trust in you and to follow your leading. Father, I pray today that you will be the pacemaker of my dear friend. In all that my dear friend does, be my dear friend's pacemaker. Lead my dear friend to places of abundance. Lead my dear friend to places where my dear friend will be happy. In every area of my dear friend's life, may your grace manifest. I pray this in Jesus' name. Help my dear friend to believe in you and to trust in you that you are the source of my dear friend's deliverance. And because of you, my dear friend will not be ruined. My dear friend will make it through. Father, I pray as my dear friend sets their focus on you and believes you for deliverance, let my dear friend become unshakable. As my dear friend puts their trust in you and believes in you, as your dear son, your dear daughter trust in you, make your dear son unshakable. Make your dear daughter unshakable. Touch and change my dear friend's life. I pray this in Jesus' name. And give my dear friend rest. Preserve my dear friend. Preserve my dear friend's strength. Increase and recharge my dear friend so that my dear friend may be able to make maximum impact. I pray this in Jesus' name and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen and amen. My dear friend, you are blessed and you cannot be cursed. May your week go well. May you experience the goodness of God this week. May you make a lot of progress and may you go up in life. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. It is a done deal. In saying that, my dear friend, we come to the end of this video from myself, Evangelist Gabriel Fernandez. God bless you and goodbye. If you were blessed by this video and you'd like to give a seed, feel free to do so using any one of the secured links provided in the description. If you would like to partner with us to support the work of the gospel on a monthly basis, then you can do so via Patreon. The link for Patreon as well as other information is also provided in the description. Other than that, my friend, God bless you, God keep you, God make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. Until we meet again next time, shalom and goodbye.